In the middle of the 20th century, the phrase larger than life was famously used for the first time by the New Yorker magazine to describe Sir Winston Churchill. Today, it would be just as appropriate to ascribe it to this man. <laughs> and I don't have the lungs for it. It's a Santa Claus laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he's, he's, he's famous for his laugh. <laughs> Tim's laugh is infectious. When he laughs, the whole room laughs with him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, AWCI is proud to present its 2018 Pinnacle Award to Mr. Tim Weiss, president of TJ Weiss Contracting. When you hear the phrase larger than life, you might think of physical size. In fact, his sister knows how he grew to the size he is today. When he came home from the hospital, my dad stayed home with my mom and Tim for about a week, and then he decided to go back into the office. Everything's fine. The end of the week, mom says, Jim, I need some more formula. I'm almost out. I won't be able to go through next week, so can I have some extra money to go get more formula? And my dad says, why do you need more formula? What you had should have lasted at least two weeks. He's like, how are you making the formula? Well, instead of it being two parts water to one part formula, she did two parts formula to one part water. So he was getting way more calories and way more nutrients in that first week or so before she ran out of formula and had to fess up. The Pinnacle Award is AWCI's most prestigious and elite honor and is only bestowed on an individual who meets multiple criteria. One of them is the excellence of their company. So he came home one day and told me that he had decided that he was going to quit working for his dad and he was going to start his own business. And I knew that he was already thinking about this because the discussion had happened, but I didn't know if it would ever actually happen. Tim started this business from nothing. Tim and Barb uh, working out of their house, they started it. Uh, he, he came from his father's business and he started T.J. Weiss all on his own. So to say I was nervous would be an understatement because we had two little boys. I was teaching at the time at a Catholic school, so not big pay, but I knew he, I knew he was sincere and I trusted him. I knew he knew what he was doing. So I said, where, where were we gonna put this? He said, we're gonna put it in the basement. We did, and then we just moved forward. Dad was in our basement for years, and then he bought this small house that's uh, pretty close to where the office is now. It's at the front, of, at the top of the uh, cul-de-sac, pretty much, and uh, worked out of there for another probably five or six years, and then finally was able to build this nice office. And it was sort of, there were many times where we didn't know if we'd make the payroll, we didn't know how we'd make the payroll, and somehow something always worked out. And that's sort of how it's always been, and that's exactly what we say to this day. You know what? When things get tough, it'll all work out. From probably starting out with four or five guys to 25 guys to 75 guys to now sometimes 250, 300. Tim's taking a business and uh, surrounding himself with the best guys in the industry. I, I don't know a person over here that works for Tim that doesn't say he's the best boss they've ever had. Tim always says if you want to grow, you grow for a certain reason. One of the reasons you grow is for opportunities for your employees. So he's a big believer in that. One of the things Tim works on a lot, I think, is trying to develop and, and foster uh, young people coming up. Uh, the mentorship that he can do and, and how he tries to teach that way um, is just is admirable. Work hard, play hard. You know, he signs off his newsletters with that phrase. I think everyone who knows Tim think that sums him up. Works hard, plays hard. It's that passion. Whatever he does, he's passionate about. The Pinnacle Award also honors that individual who has given unselfishly of his or her time and energies to benefit AWCI and the industry. When we first started, um, I didn't think we could afford to be a part of AWCI because we didn't have any money. 
and he told me we couldn't afford not to be a part of AWCI because the knowledge that we would get from that would be tenfold. So we started going and didn't know anyone and he slowly got on committees and he slowly worked his way up and he slowly he got into a forum group and I mean now he's on all kinds of committees and always has been, been the president. AWCI gives you the opportunity to kind of get out socially and have some fun as well. And I think Tim drives that just as much as he does uh, constant improvement to the business or industry. When I came in, he was extremely active. He's gone through the chairs, did his presidency. And that's a point where a lot of people walk away from stuff. But Tim hasn't. Tim has remained steadfast and involved. Tim is a huge supporter of AWCI. He is probably one of the best ambassadors AWCI has. For my father, it has been priceless. Um, he started his company 25 years ago, and pretty much where we are here today is solely to do with AWCI and a lot of the great conversations and relationships my dad has had along the way and utilizing those to come up with great original ideas and bring them to the marketplace, which has allowed us to grow. He was right. I've learned so much from Tim over the years that we could never have gotten as far as we did without the people and the support at AWCI. Civic and community service are two more criteria that make up the Pinnacle Award. I think that Tim and Barb set a wonderful, wonderful example of how to be generous to um, to the surrounding company that has built them to where they are now. I'm a consultant with uh, TJ Weiss and Tim's company. What we do, we try to find them African American young men and women to get in the construction industry. And that was interesting because Tim approached me some years ago and wanted to make sure he can diversify his company and have inclusion and, and have everyone a part of being in this industry. Tim does all kinds of charity work. Uh, it, if there's a need, Tim Weiss is there to help. Uh, if I were to make a phone call and say, Tim, we, we have a project, this person needs help. He says, first thing he'll say is, how soon do you need it? That's Tim. He's always there. I think his loyalty and his generosity are probably the things that I admire most. You can always depend on him. He's always going to be there for you. A couple years ago, I was invited out to deer camp with Tim. And I came out and spent a week or so out here and we got done hunting and Tim said, can we head back to St. Louis a day early? He had, uh, he was going to be handing out turkeys to the needy and what amazed me about that was Tim wanted to be there and he wanted to be handing them out. He didn't want to just hire someone to do it, he wanted to actually be there. When they had a Proposition A that wanted to disband the unions, his company would have benefited if they disbanded the unions. He fought, he became the face against it, against his own interests. I mean, what that tells you about his character, if there's a proposition to say, hey, let's get, let's get rid of the unions, he said, no, it's not about me. It's about me making sure my company, my uh, folks that's working for me, people in this community who's working nine to five, working to protect their families and secure for their families. How do you acknowledge that individual who merits our industry's recognition? When you can choose someone larger than life, the choice is easy. There's no question Tim Weiss has demonstrated he knows how to work hard, but does he play hard equally well? Those of us who know Tim well know he likes to keep people around him kind of off balance and don't want to get people too close. Well, we were on a, a customer outing. There was myself and several of our customers were on outing, and t t Tim was one of those customers. And we were, uh, it was outdoors, and a rainstorm c came upon us, raining pretty hard, and we were standing on a hillside. And we're all kind of watching it rain. We were un un undercover, and Tim slowly stands up, takes off his shirt, stretches, takes about four quick steps and does a belly walk down this hill. And if you can imagine Tim Weiss going just in his shorts d d down the hill and it was raining hard enough, it was actually a wake coming out from underneath of him. Everyone was just dumbstruck. Tim stood up, shook himself off like, like a bear, 
walked up and sat down, never said a word. He's taking Fridays off now, so he said he was going to start to move on, and he thought his new title should be the Director of Fun. I am not a hunter, but my brother considers himself a hunter. But between you and I, I'm not so sure how much he wants to be out there to kill the deer. I think he still thinks of them as a beautiful, majestic animal. I think he's had more opportunity to shoot a deer and missed, missed, than um, he's actually taken a deer. We were in South Dakota one time pheasant hunting, and the grass and the corn and the weeds were way over our heads. And we're on one side of the field hunting away, and on the other side of the field, <laughs> somebody said, Tim Weiss is here. I, I steal like half the ideas on my cooking from him, you know. Most of the time, me and my wife are trying to cook stuff and give it to him to see like, oh, he likes it? All right, cool, we must have done okay, so, you know. For a little bit, he thought about doing competition, competition barbecuing, and I, I, I successfully talked him out of doing that. <laughs> He's a jokester. Actually, recently, we were talking about names for our baby, and we didn't know we were having at that time, and we had been up at the family farm, and we had shared with Tim the names we were thinking, and we hadn't actually got a chance to tell Barb, and he just made up two names, Aegon and Celeste, just to kind of mess with Barb. Ladies and gentlemen, the larger than life winner of AWCI's 2018 Pinnacle Award, Mr. Tim Weiss. Congratulations, Tim, on winning the Pinnacle Award. I'm very proud of you, and I am sure that mom and dad are just as tickled for you. Congratulations, dad. You have had a lifetime of hard work and dedication this is the pinnacle of your career. Enjoy today. Congratulations, Dad. I'm really proud of you, and there's definitely no one more deserving of this award. Congratulations, Tim. We're so excited for you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You're a big man with a big personality, and congratulations once again. Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations, Tim, on winning the pinnacle award. I am very proud of you, and I'm very proud to work for TJ Weiss family. Congratulations, Tim, on receiving the Pinnacle Award this year. You're a very deserving recipient, and, and uh, I, I know you deserve it for all that you've done for the association and for our entire industry. Tim, you're a remarkable person for two reasons. One, you're not the kind of guy that sees the glass half full. You're the kind of guy that sees the way to make it overflow. And the second reason you're remarkable is that you were smart enough to snag Barb when you had a chance. Tim, congratulations on winning the Pinnacle Award. You've worked hard for it, you deserve it, and I love you dearly, buddy. Tim, congratulations on winning the Pinnacle Award. You worked hard for it, and you earned it. Tim, congratulations, you deserve this award. You've worked your heart out for this award. Congratulations again. Congratulations, my friend. Good job. Tim, on behalf of the entire St. Louis community, I want to congratulate you on this award. The Pinnacle Award. That is a highlight that you will enjoy for a long, long time. And it couldn't go to a better guy. Congratulations, Tim. Big dog. Let's call you the big fella. I want to say from my heart, man, I am truly honored, and I tell you all the time, I'm truly honored and so thankful that God put you in my life and put me your life. This is so well deserved for you. For the hard work, the commitment, the lives you've changed in this community, man. This is Tim Weiss Day. And I'm honored to be a part of Big Fella. Congratulations. Tim, when Steve called to tell me that you had won the Pinnacle Award this year, I was so happy and so proud of you. You've now joined an awesome group of men and women who have won this award before you. I can't think of anyone that is more deserving of this award than you. Congratulations. I love you.